There is nothing that I have said that has led to threats against these hospitals. This threats happened after you and but President say, Trump no, 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 were, Dana, on no, the, Dana, were on the debate say, stage, said that Dana, cats no, and dogs you were asked, being you, you eaten. Asked a, but it if wasn't I just a meme. Create sorry. stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people. Then that's what I'm going to do, Dana. Sorry, you just said that you're creating the story. What's that, Dana? I, you just said that this is a story that you yes. created. So, so then. The eating dogs we and are cats cre- thing is we, not. We are accurate. creating. We are. Dana, it comes from firsthand accounts from my constituents. Sure, Dan. Just when you think J.D. Vance has hit rock bottom with his interviews, he shows up and manages to crash even harder. This guy went on live TV and just let the cat out of the bag, openly admitting to spreading lies about Haitian immigrants eating pets just so he could terrorize people into voting Republican. I mean, Dana, that was bonkers. Listen, um, the governor of Ohio. The mayor of that town in Ohio has said this is all made up. These are all lies. There is no truth to it. And the United States senator from Ohio just came on your show and blamed his own constituents for his own lies. This guy's so pathetic. But the thing is, it is dangerous. There is a causal connection between the BS that J.D. Vance and Donald Trump spew, and the safety and security of the American people. In other words, J.D. Vance won't accept that his racist, vitriolic rhetoric has endangered the lives of his constituents. Vance and Trump's extremist rhetoric has now incited the Proud Boys to march in Springfield, deepening residents' fear for their safety. If Vance doesn't care about his own constituents, what makes you think he'll care about you or me or the other 345 million people in our country? But you know who else doesn't care about us and continues to push divisive and extremist rhetoric? That's right, his running mate, Donald J. Trump. We will deploy ICE, DHS, and other federal officials to go in and liberate Aurora. We're gonna, can you believe I'm saying this? Can you believe I have to say this? We are going to liberate parts of our country. Let's go back another 300 years. We are going to liberate our country. Trump wants to liberate Aurora, a town that Republicans claim is being overrun by a Venezuelan gang, except, of course, that's not happening. Also, take us back 300 years? I guess Trump and Vance have found a new campaign slogan, make slavery great again. And I'm angry about illegal Haitian migrants taking over Springfield, Ohio. Our country is under invasion. We are under invasion just like it was an army. Except in many ways it's more difficult because they don't wear a uniform. You don't know who the hell to go after. Trump has even said that he wants to round up Haitians and send them back to Venezuela. Uh, I can say this. uh, We will do large deportations from Springfield, Ohio. Large deportations. We're going to get these people out. We're bringing them back to Venezuela. You know, he told Biden he's not accepting anybody back. They moved all their criminals. Not all of them, but the rest are moving in now. Donald Trump is so f***ing dumb that he doesn't know the difference between Haitians and Venezuelans. He thinks they're the same thing. But this should come as no surprise when you remember that Donald Trump is a racist. Complaining to lawmakers in the Oval Office about protections for immigrants. Why do we want these people from, quote, all these shithole countries here? According to a Democratic aide familiar with the conversation, Mr. Trump was referring to African nations and Haiti before suggesting the U.S. should have more people from places like Norway. Despite what Trump, Vance, and the rest of their GOP cult claims, this lie about immigrants in Ohio has been extensively and thoroughly debunked. And here's a question I never thought I would have to ask, but do you see any evidence as governor of the state that Haitian immigrants are eating pets? No. Absolutely not. That's what the mayor has said. That's what the chief of police has said. I think it's unfortunate. The Haitians who are in Springfield are legal. The Clark County Sheriff and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources reviewed 11 months of 911 calls. They only identified two instances of people alleging Haitians were taking geese out of parks. They found zero evidence to substantiate those claims. The woman behind an early Facebook post spreading a harmful and baseless claim about Haitian immigrants eating local pets that helped thrust a small Ohio town into the national spotlight says that she had no firsthand knowledge of any such incident and is now filled with regret and fear as a result of the ensuing fallout. It just exploded into something I didn't mean to happen. Erica Lee, a Springfield resident, told NBC News. She's only sorry because she got caught. She knew exactly what she was doing when she posted it, feeding into her own racism 
against a community that has helped Springfield come back economically. MAGA screaming that 20,000 Haitians invaded Springfield and then it's all Kamala Harris's fault, except that couldn't be further from the truth. They came to Springfield to work. Ohio is on the move and Springfield has really made a great resurgence with a lot of companies coming in. These Haitians came in to work for these companies. What the companies tell us uh, is that they are very good workers. They're very happy to have them there. And frankly, that's helped the economy. Thousands of new jobs had been created there thanks to a successful effort by the city's leadership and Chamber of Commerce to attract new business to Springfield. They began arriving to take jobs in warehouses, manufacturing, and the service sector. And employers urged new workers to encourage other Haitians to join them. I was told, Dana, that the American me by the American media that it was baseless that migrants were capturing the geese from the local park pond and eating them. No one is sneaking up on geese in the park and killing them. Have you ever been close enough to touch a goose? I used to row on the Chicago River and I had to deal with them daily. These birds are incredibly aggressive and definitely not something you want to mess with. Republicans also accused a black man who was not even Haitian of killing two geese. When in reality, the geese had been hit by a car and he was just following the instructions of the Ohio Division of Wildlife to move them after they were reported. Also, is MAGA now gonna go after all the hunters out there shooting geese? No, of course not. This is textbook racist fear mongering 101. The Republican party is terrorizing a small Ohio town and it's causing its residents on both sides to live in fear. Have yeah, you been to it. Springfield? Dana, I've been to Springfield probably a hundred times in my life. How about I've recently? Taken my children since to get ice this... cream at Young's Jersey Dairy. Have you heard recently since have, you've, have you've I gotten been in the these last, calls? Have I been in the last four days? No, no I'm I talking haven't been about in the last four days, but I've since talked you've to a lot of these people calls in Springfield, from the Dana, and they're telling me this stuff is happening. Of course Vance hasn't been to Springfield to actually investigate this for himself. It's the same reason he never stepped foot on a picket line until 2023. He doesn't care. Very well. How are you doing? Nice to see you, Marcy. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Yeah. First time here? First time here. Yep. Thank First you for coming. Here. Of course. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance have no real policies, aside from the fascist Project 2025. All they've got is this divisive rhetoric, and it's gonna end up getting people hurt, or worse. These two extremist candidates are what the Republican Party signed up for. They made their bed, and now they're gonna have to lie in it. And speaking of bed, I want to thank today's sponsor, Miracle Made. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning antibacterial bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long, so you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice if not nicer than sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe to try Miracle Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo Gabe at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe and use the code Gabe to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Gabe to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. This is bears and the COVID-19 vaccine all over again. Unverified reports submitted by the general public, many of which came from anti-vaxxers and MAGA making up stories, which is what J.D. Vance admitted to when it comes to immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. It's fake. It's a fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a... F fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the elemental chart. It, it's not real. Though, I gotta say, for a group that claims to do their own research, Republicans sure are bad at doing that very thing. I mean, hypothetically speaking, everyone watching this video could call Vance's office and say the following script. Hi, I would like to report that I saw vampires draining blood banks in Ohio. Again, hypothetically speaking, but just because we claim we saw it, doesn't make it true. On September 9th, you amplified what you said 
yourself were rumors about Haitian migrants eating pets. Donald Trump then claimed those were facts, and he repeated them to 67 million people on the debate stage this past week. In Springfield yesterday, two hospitals went into lockdown after police were alerted to a bomb threat. On Friday, two elementary schools, one middle school, were evacuated. Thursday, an elementary school was also evacuated, and Springfield City Hall had to evacuate due to a bomb threat made by someone who said they were concerned about immigration. These false claims are endangering your constituents. Do you regret your words? Well, Margaret, first of all, we condemn all violence and condemn all threats of violence. I want whoever made these threats to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. But we don't believe, Margaret, in a heckler's veto in this country. Listen, we condemn all violence, but... That doesn't mean that we're going to stop pushing the fake stories that led to said violence. Now, maybe all of these constituents are lying to me. If anyone is actually calling these in, they're lying to you, you f***ing racist gullible moron. J.D. Vance is living proof that you can graduate from an Ivy League school like Yale and still be a complete idiot. Yesterday, you posted a video, the origins of which CBS cannot confirm, claiming Africans are grilling cats in Dayton. Haiti's not Africa, Dayton's not Springfield, but putting all that aside, what is your intent in furthering the focus? Again, as a representative of Ohio, these are officials from Ohio, including the Dayton police chief, who said that there is no evidence of what you just claimed as being verifiable or true. Republicans don't care about who they hurt. Their goal is to cause as much destruction and division as possible, regardless of the collateral damage. Why is somebody yeah. calling it a bomb threat, Margaret? It's because they want attention. I think that we should ignore these ridiculous psychopaths who are threatening violence on a small Ohio town. J.D. Vance's advice is just ignore the bomb threats or other threats of violence against you or your loved ones. Wow, good luck and get lost, I guess. 2016, you said this, quote, Trump makes people I care about afraid immigrants, Muslims, etc. Because of this, I find him reprehensible. God wants better of us. This week in Springfield, buildings were closed because of bomb threats. Haitian immigrants say they are afraid for their lives. Are you now doing the very thing you once called reprehensible, Senator? Please, let me answer on behalf of J.D. Vance. Yes, yes he is. I've been talking to allies of former President Trump who are frankly outraged, they're alarmed that Donald Trump has been traveling with Laura Loomer. She uh, is someone who says she supports white nationalism. She spread conspiracy theories, including that the September 11th attacks are an inside job. She recently said that Kamala Harris, whose mother was Indian, uh, if she wins in November, quote, the White House will smell like curry. Senator, you are married to an Indian American woman. Laura Loomer is not affiliated with the Trump campaign. You sure about that? You sure about that? Uh, she said something about Curry in the White House that I first read about this morning, actually, because I knew that you would ask me about it. Look, Kristen, I make a mean chicken curry. I'm sorry, but there is no way that J.D. Vance makes a mean chicken curry. We all know that his recipe consists of boiled chicken and a splash of coconut milk. Though, let's be honest, even that's probably too spicy for him. But I think Pete Buttigieg summarized the Republican Party's extremist strategy towards these Ohio immigrants perfectly. That community and the very real people who are dealing with uh, some really ugly stuff right now, like the bomb threats, uh, are having that inflicted on them as part of the strategy from a campaign that wants to talk about anything but their actual record and their actual agenda. Uh, Donald Trump and J.D. Vance cannot afford for this campaign to be about things like uh, how Donald Trump eliminated the right to choose and uh, continues to leave the door open to signing a national abortion ban. They definitely don't want this uh, campaign to be about things like how we had a manufacturing recession under Donald Trump and what we have to do to keep the manufacturing boom that is going on right now uh, going. These are not things they want to be talking about. Uh, obviously, they don't want to be talking about the particulars uh, of the Trump fans' health care plan because they don't have one. They, they have this so-called concept of a plan uh, that, that he keeps saying is around the corner. He's been saying that. I think for nine years. So they need to get us talking about something else. The crazier, the better. Uh, and they go for something that is so outrageous that uh, you actually can't ignore it. Uh, uh, the media can't uh, ignore what's going on because very real pain has been inflicted uh, on, uh, and fear, by the way, uh, on people in this community and other communities around the country. Yeah. Uh, and yet, 
if we take the bait and are completely diverted uh, by it, then we're not talking about what this campaign is supposed to be about, which is the future of the American people. And if you also want to live in a country that believes in unity, hope, freedom, and the ability to pursue the American dream and not this divisive extremist rhetoric, then make sure to vote for the ticket that actually supports that, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to follow me. I am Gabe Sanchez. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to check out the audio version of What Was That? Perfect for when you're on the go or just relaxing. Catch every episode wherever you listen to podcasts. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and this has been What Was That? What Was That?